What's happening people? Welcome back to the channel. First of all, I hope everyone had a great Christmas and a happy new year. I'm filming this today on Boxing Day, but it's probably gonna be uh, the second week into January by the time this drops. So, another year, 2022. I don't know where time is going, but hopefully we can get a little bit more normality. We got a few car shows last year, but hopefully this year, even more and total back to the way it should be. Today's video, I've got a set of Lamborghini Urus style DSG paddles that Car Audio Security and the tuning store are going to soon be stocking and we'll be stocking them at Offset Auto House as well at, our, uh, at my own store that I own with Jordan. Um, they'll be for the Audi steering wheels. They look really good. I'll uh, have a little look at this. They're, they're going to be done out of carbon fibre. Quality is insane. Um, I was a bit 50-50 how they would feel, but they feel really, really good. So I've got two sets. I'm gonna whip my steering wheel off of my R8 and put a set on them. And then Lucy's Audi RSQ3 that you would have seen last video of the APR intake and a little look around of that car. We're gonna put a set of those onto her steering wheel as well. So um, you can maybe consider this video as a little bit of a how to fit them and then see how they look after. So let's get out to the R8 first, whip that steering wheel off, fit these, show you how to do it and see what the uh, how they look. Doggo, hello, yes. Let's whip this off. I have already got the pet, the style. Um, a different company made metal ones, so it gives you a rough idea. But obviously we're gonna whip this off, put the carbon ones on, make sure they fit and work correctly, and then see how they look. So, we'll off. Right, okay. You can't really see me, but you can hear me. The The way these work, behind each part here, there is a little, it's like a clip, a circlip almost, that you basically push it down and the bag, each side will pop out. Um, obviously, before you disconnect the actual airbag plug, I always recommend disconnect your battery um, so that you don't obviously potentially make this thing go bang on you. Um, so you, you're not gonna really be able to see me doing it, like the, pulling it with the screwdriver, but you'll get a rough idea of what I mean. Then you can see how the actual bag disconnects. So you get your screwdriver in the little hole at the back. You don't go too far or you won't be able to get the clip. But once you see the clip, or sorry, once you fill the clip with your screwdriver, there, literally part of the airbag pops out on that part. Leave it alone. Turn the wheel the other way. Do the same thing. So there you go. That's out. So now, disconnect the battery, and then you can see the next view of what we do next. Remove the airbag. You pull your clips out from here. Put this in a safe place. Um, a lot of people also ask me this. These rings that are black, I've done these myself. Once you remove this airbag, if you look in here, all of these tabs here are, are like push pressed in. If you un if you get a screwdriver in and basically bend those out, that will allow you to take this cover off of this airbag. Uh, once you do, you can melt the plastic soldered parts that hold these on, um, pop these to your body shop, get them painted, and then uh, you just bit of hot glue back in, bend these all back in when the cover on, and that's how you also get black rings. And twelve multi spline. If I disconnect the camera and show you this, if you look close enough, you'll see the little line on the steering wheel and that. So that obviously allows you to make sure that you know your steering wheel centered on the steering rack when you take it off and when you put it back on. So just a good little tip for you all. And then it's as simple as take it off so all you need to do t get yourself a t20 you'll see obviously first of all every steering wheel will be a little bit different so you you're obviously going to see this with an r8 wheel and then a new rsq3 wheel which the new rsq3 wheel will be a little bit like the new rs3 stuff so the 8y stuff and they're all roughly the same they all come apart around the same sort of start way but everyone will be a little bit different to an extent Oh, 
once that is your four torque screws out, it's basically just being a little bit brave with it and uh, giving it a bit of a pull on certain places. So I'll start over here. And you've just got to pull. They're on push parts, which as you pull it, everything starts obviously coming up a bit looser. There we go. So that will free up the whole section off the wheel. Let's pull out the plug, the little clips over here, which flat headed screwdriver for the DSG paddles. That one there. And again, this one over here. There we go, that removes the electronic part. Um, good tip, obviously, for how to do it, because a lot of people change these sort of things to carbon ones and whatnot. Do this. Pop that bit over there, and then you'll be able to just unclip it. You can see this pin going all the way through. So what you need to do in the gaps, you can get a small screwdriver that allows you to kind of pry and push that pin up. So I'll continue to do it all in place here so you can see. You basically just close the pin. We need to grab a pair of pliers so that we've got the pin out enough. The pin is out enough for this focus so that we can slide this pin out. So we'll grab a quick pair of pliers and straight out it should go. There we go, electronic section is out. This is obviously the bit you'll need to keep. So all you do now is you get your new one and you rebuild it the same way that you've done to take it out. So you put the electronic section in, you get your pin and you slide your pin straight back in. And that is how easy it is. Rebuild. So I'm just gonna go for it. So you can kind of watch me as I go and you can clock on what goes where. So there you go, the wheel, let me get out of the way. So mine's a little bit different because I've obviously I've got the satin, car, the satin forged carbon as a, this is a normal carbon weave on these, but it looks quite good. Maybe I'll swap, I'll change it up a little bit. Um, get a different wheel, sell this one on, maybe get normal matte carbon or normal gloss carbon to go with the paddles. But all in all, I think even uh, the way it is, it looks really good. Our 2021 Audi RS Q3 steering wheel, so a little bit different. Airbag looks uh, a bit different. Obviously, it's a new model, so it's more like rectangle rather than the round ones. Um, don't know if you can pop these off to do the rings and stuff. I've not really looked at them just yet. But another of this, let's try and uh, take this apart. I'll be learning this one with you as we go because I've not taken one of these apart before. But everything's got to come apart, so. Cue the time lapse.
And there you have it. That is Lucy's Audi RS Q3 steering wheel with it on, paddles. So we'll get it fitted on the car, make sure everything's fully functioning. Massive difference. They're, they're much more visible, but subtle. They're not over the top. Um, with the carbon addition, once she starts adding a bit more carbon in the car, it will look really good. So all in all, 10 out of 10 from me. It's a bit dark outside now, so I'm having to use the light on my phone to light them up, but what a difference these make. It's uh, it, just what, what was needed, if you ask me. The paddles, they're not oversized. They're not too much, they're just enough, and they look sick. Uh, I think next I would personally get rid of the silver on the wheel, maybe make that carbon or black, but all in all, banging. So that is that one done. You've seen them on the R8 wheel, you've seen them on the RSQ3 wheel. These are available on near enough all your Audi platforms that are only on Audi platforms at the moment. There probably is going to be movement to maybe your Volkswagen platform and a few more. As I said, mentioned at the beginning, you can get these from Car Audio Security slash the tuning store. We will be supplying them at offset, probably hold them in stock as well. Or you can message me on my own personal socials. Um, I'll also put my offset email in here. So if you've got any questions or you do want to order a set, hit me up. And I hope this video has been a little bit helpful to you all. So at least if you have bought any of these, it gives you a little bit of an insight of what you need to do and how to fit them. Until then, give me a like, give me a comment, smash a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.